In this video, we'll look at the user access elevation controls in Citrix Workspace Environment Management. To begin, we've signed into a Windows 10 virtual machine as a standard domain user, Test User 2. We'll launch the pane application and then attempt to save a file under the root of the C drive. This can be common for some applications to require, including custom and homegrown apps. Notice how we're prohibited from saving to the C drive. Now we'll attempt to install an application that requires elevated permission. When we do, we're prompted for administrator credentials and are unable to proceed. And this is what we'd expect for both cases, as we're just a standard user. Here in the WEM console under Security, we'll select the Privilege Elevation node. This is where we can elevate standard users with specific permissions, and do so only as required. Under Elevated Executables, we'll click Add Rule. We'll enter a name to start. Notice the options available to us. We can specify certain parameters, such as apps to allow, and even configuring the allow time window. We can also apply to child processes. Next, we'll choose Publisher and browse for the Notepad executable. Notice how the slider allows us to configure wildcards. These could be for specific fields to match, or we could enter our own custom values. Let's look at some rules that we've already configured. This PowerShell rule allows specific groups to run an elevated PowerShell prompt, though note that the ability to run child processes is not allowed. Here we have a rule for the elevated command prompt that does allow child processes. And finally, we have a rule that allows running elevated executables under a specific path. Now we've logged on to a Windows 10 virtual machine again, but as another standard test user where the WEM policies have been applied. We'll launch Notepad, then launch a command prompt, and finally launch a PowerShell prompt. After, we'll open Task Manager to inspect those running processes. You'll notice that all three processes are running as elevated, yet we are working with just a standard test user. Now we'll move over to Notepad, and we'll attempt to save a file to the root of the C drive, just as we did before. But this time, you'll notice that it succeeds, thanks to WEM policies. Within the command prompt, we'll open MS Paint and attempt to save a file to the root of the C drive here too. It will succeed because we allow the use of child processes in the rule. Next, we'll attempt to do the same from PowerShell, spawn MS Paint, and try to save a file to the root of the C drive. This time, it will fail because we have not explicitly allowed elevation on child processes from PowerShell. Finally, we'll browse to the My Test App directory and attempt to install some applications that require elevation. We'll see that all of these application installations will succeed because we've allowed elevation on this directory within Workspace Environment Management. Back in the WEM console, under the logging node for administration, we have a full audit trail of activities showing everything that's taken place in the environment. 